At, uh, at approximately 6.40 a.m., officers were called to the Richmond Technical Center uh, for the report of uh, harassment. Uh, officers responded, and there was a, an individual, adult male, who claimed that uh, he's been in an ongoing altercation uh, with another, a known person, uh, another adult male. Uh, he wasn't present at the time. Officers took the report of the harassment and, um, and were still on scene uh, writing up the report when a few minutes later at 7.10 a.m., they heard a gunshot. Officers responded back and found the original complainant and also another individual, the, uh, an adult male, running from the scene. So uh, they stopped that male a short distance away. He had suffered an apparent gunshot wound. So he was transported to a local hospital. Injuries not considered life-threatening. And now detectives are uh, investigating what occurred. Apparently, the two met again in that short time. There was an altercation again, and that person was shot. So detectives are working out what occurred here. Uh, the original person who called it in, he's an employee of the school, he's a bus driver, um, but it was before his shift started. So detectives um, uh, have, uh, uh, do not... so the original person who uh, called the officers, uh, he's a school employee, he's a bus driver. Uh, but this happened uh, before the school started and detectives, uh, have determined that uh, the firearm was never on a bus. So um, detectives, again, are still working through this uh, situation. There were no students present, and um, this was before school uh, hours. So for questions about the school, of course, you could talk to Richmond Public Schools. Um, right now, we have a lead detective in this case, which is uh, Major Crimes Detective uh, P. Brewington. Uh, she can be reached at uh, area code 864-646-3930. Uh, of course, Crime Stoppers at 780-1000. So we have an uh, uh, inc incident here at the Richmond Technical Center where you had a, a person uh, reporting uh, some harassment and then uh, altercation and then a uh, person was shot and now uh, detectives are uh, looking into the investigation right now. Um, the complainant was the one who did the shooting or was the one who was right shot? Right now, that good question. Right now, detectives are just investigating what occurred when the two got back together. There was some kind of another altercation, and that person ended up uh, being shot and wounded. So right now, detectives are looking to see uh, what exactly occurred. Now, uh, once they figure that out, there could be charges, of course, uh, and we'll provide that uh, when we know a little bit more clarity uh, to what happened here this morning. Um, but to clarify, the complainant was the person who went to the hospital? No, thank you. Okay. So... <clears throat> Officers were writing the report from the complainant about the harassment, yeah. and they were nearby, and that a few minutes later at 7.10 a.m., they heard a gunshot. They went back to the scene, and the complainant was there, and they found the, they saw another gentleman running away. They stopped him, and it turns out that those two were the same involved in the altercation. They, they came back, and they, there was another altercation, and uh, that's when that other individual was shot. So detectives are trying to figure out what exactly occurred in that altercation, who produced the gun, how, who was shot, but the individual obviously was the one who, uh, who was running away who had suffered the injury and he was taken to a local hospital.